in this day and age, it's harder than ever to know where the line is when it comes to comedy. So I'm attempting to answer that question. With the current global climate, joking about Muslims can be very controversial, but is that because they're sensitive or are we just being unnecessarily delicate towards them? Well, myself and a team of writers have written a series of jokes to find out where everyday Australians think the line is when joking about Muslims. I'll be watching via live feed while another comedian performs the jokes because I live in Western Sydney and I don't want any trouble. I'd be so intimidated saying Muslim jokes to him. Muslims have a great sense of humour until you make fun of them and they all blow up about it. <laughs> Holy schmooly! Wow, this is gonna get worse. <laughs> It's a very obvious punchline, that's fair enough. It's a good one. That's hilarious. I love stuff like that. Yeah, that's racial profiling. Religious profiling, not racial profiling. Mediocre, I expected better. He's like a critic. Yeah, you could have done better. I can't get enough of Muslim jokes, I'm afraid. What's the difference between a redneck and a Muslim? I like this one. At least the redneck was drunk when they married their cousin. Goodness. <sighs> I thought in America it was illegal to marry your cousin anyway. Uh, let me know in the chat or where, wherever you're from on Eastern Nephews. Um, if it, is, it, is it okay to marry a cousin in your country? Are you allowed to marry second cousins but not first cousins? Or is it just, yeah, whatever. Be interesting to know. Pretty solid one. It's good. <laughs> He's just saying that's good. He's not laughing. What do you call a Muslim woman in an Uber without her husband? This will be interesting. Sorry. A whore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's not. It's not good. I feel like the jokes do become offensive when I'm watching these guys. Good one. I don't get that joke. I actually don't get it. Please someone in the chat if they can explain to me that joke. Because I, Uncle Jason, for once, does not get a joke. This is a rarity of all rarities. I don't know if he's being serious or being sarcastic now. <laughs> That's like solid. This is already really interesting. The Muslim participants are laughing a lot more than the non-Muslim participants. Yep, sort of funny, not really funny. Not for everyone. What am I? Men can't find me. I can't watch it. Trans women want me, and Muslim women don't have me. <laughs> A clitoris. <laughs> I tell you what, I joke there to wind up as many people as you want to wind up. I tell you now, you've got. <laughs> You're going to have the trans lobby after you, the Muslim lobby, oh wow man, oh, gee whiz man. <laughs> oh. Oof. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I, I, like I'm not finding any of this funny. Neither. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I can take that joke. Deeply disquieting. <laughs> <laughs> Did you stick your tongue out? <laughs> what? She's laughing. <laughs> I think she'd be laughing if he wasn't there. All right, it's this stuff. 9-11 is a day of mourning. And you can see everyone gets so uncomfortable as soon as you mention 9-11. The West lost 3,000 people in a tragic terrorist attack, but spare a thought for Islam... They lost 19 of their best hijackers. Ah, oh. oh, it's a good, you know what? 
that is a good one. I think you have to have humour. I know there's tragedy, but a lot enough time has passed to have a bit of humour about something. If you can't have a laugh and a joke about something, then there's nothing severely wrong in the world. But that is a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. I say when Uncle Jason used to be at school, we used to, we used to have we used to have a joke. Um, who is the fastest reader in the world? And the answer is Osama bin Laden. One hundred and eighty stories in five minutes. <laughs> oh dear! I just remind me of that one from the uh, golden oldie from the past. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. What am I laughing? They did, didn't they? <laughs> Probably true too. No, I'm just not true. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell. Today is 9-11. Today is literally September 11. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonder if they've done this. timely and also timely. gross. Yeah. I don't... Wow. To do that on nine, uh, that date of 9-11 as well. Crikey, that. It, does, it elevates the ante a little bit. It really does. <laughs> Oh, mind these jokes in a weird way, mm. but I'm not pro it either. I have to put that in there as well. This one is brutal. A lot of Australians think Muslims aren't compatible with our way of life, but over 150 Australian women die in domestic violence each year. I think they're going to fit right in. Wow. wow. Again, no. It's all bad. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Oh. I tell you what though, right, that is a <laughs> so bad. It is like, whoa. You're not thinking, do you laugh, do you not laugh? But it's so bad, it's such a bad. But I'll tell you one thing though that's quite interesting is these people don't know these jokes were written by a Muslim man. So they're literally watching a white man, they're thinking it's a white man doing this comedy routine from his script. Now, the comedian's done that on purpose. So, obviously, because obviously it makes it worse to see people's reactions. And there is a reaction in the rule of comedy where you can joke about issues that affect you or your own kind or your own group of people, but you don't cross over to other avenues that are not your, uh, your own people, your, your own demographic. Uh, it's, It's good. To, I, I, I like it how the comedian's watching over it as well, and even he's like, "Oh, you know, it's brilliant." Oh, oh. that's a whole oh, one. That's heavy. They probably would. Fair enough. <laughs> that was a very interesting reaction. I don't know how I'm going to unpack that one. Not funny, but I kind of agree with it. I think that joke is punching up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Am I sick? This is going to be a fantastic discussion. Thank you for watching my niece and nephews. Please like, share and subscribe around and I'll see you in the next one.